Greetings, everybody. Today, I will share my customized workflow for a Quen image edit plus one-click 20 poses. This version creates better consistency and much more angles and poses than the previous one-click eight-shot workflow that I have shared in my earlier videos. This time, though still struggling with prompt engineering, I have almost got all prompts working as intended. However, the prompts can be further tweaked as you wish. Furthermore, they can be infinitely extended, generating an infinite number of character poses as you prefer. Prompts have been rewritten to be concise and short to the point, as an attempt to avoid confusion. Okay, let's look at the workflow. All models can be downloaded from this red node. I will be using the 8 steps acceleration LoRa because the four steps LoRa did not give good enough results on my settings. Here are the loader nodes for all models. The top groups are for the diffusion models and the bottom ones are for clip and VAE models. As usual, I will always have these set and force nodes so that I can assign some workloads to my secondary GPU. Here on the right side, we load four LoRa's. These are the F2P LoRa, the Multiple Angle LoRa, the Consistency LoRa, and finally the Acceleration LoRa. My default model strength values are set as shown. And here are some basic optimization nodes. No Sage thing this time, as it gives me a black image output, don't know why. Here is the image preparation group. Load the image at the image loader node and preview your image here if you are using the resize node. I added the resize function because I sometimes want the input image to be off different ratios, like a square image to be used for my LoRa datasets. This node here is to switch between the original input and the resized one. The actual size, not the ratio, can be set or changed here. I have a default value of 1024 by 1024 set at the resize node for a square image input and output. Next, the Quen text and code node is where we enter or input our prompts. If you want to just run one prompt, please remove this connection. The green node groups here are our 20 prompts that we will feed into the text and code node. These are all editable. I will show how to save them into a text file at the end of the workflow. We currently have 20 of them, and they can be extended by chaining more of these prompt list nodes together. If we want to run all of them at once, we need to reconnect this to the encoder, like so. Then, we have our prompt source switcher here to select the source to use. Select one to input from a text file, or two to load them from the green chained prompts nodes. If we choose to import from a text file, we will use this CR load text list node. We need to enter the correct path, file name, and file extension. If we choose to load the prompts from our prompt nodes, we need to select option 2. All these prompts will then be used to feed into the encoder node. Here is the sampler node and an image color match node that I use to match the output images to the ref image. I find that setting this to 0.5 works great. OK, here will our output be displayed together and saved individually. I will do a demo run at 1024 by 1024 to see how it performs. Here we go. Okay, the first run took about 11 minutes, and here are the results. Well, what do you think? I like the variety of the poses that are generated. Next, and this is how to save the prompts to a text file. We use the Save Text node from ComfyUI Custom Scripts node pack. Set your output directory and file name here. 
enable it and run it to save it to a text file. And this is how the file content looks like. That's it for this video. What do you think? If you like this workflow, please help me like the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you for watching. And yes, I'll be back shortly.